Good morning and happy, happy Monday. How are you starting your week? What are you going to do differently this week that is going to make you successful or more successful than you were last week on your weight loss and health journey? Let's talk about this. Still got my food pot here, but this is reducing some, and these are starting to change also. So I'm going to be doing some exercises. Well, why don't we just go ahead and work in the exercise first, and then we'll talk about that subject next, okay? Let's go ahead and get started. Let's do a couple of kettlebell exercises. Just get your kettlebell, and we're going to swing it forward and to the back. Ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now you don't have to have an excessively heavy kettlebell to do this exercise. The one that I am using this is an eight pound um, Danskin now uh, kettlebell. I got my kettlebell from a garage sale, so you can go to garage sales or look on offer up or let go different uh, websites and get used equipment. So that is what I did. Let's go ahead and do 10 more of these on each uh, arm. And we'll just do it as such. We'll swing down with one and release it when we come up to the top. One, switch, two, one, two, three, Four, five, I'm going to do ten, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, next. With the kettlebell, I want to do the lifts. One that I just learned the other day. It's a really good exercise as far as using the kettlebell. And you just pick it up. One. Next time, bring it up to your chest. Two. Squat. Three. And then up over your head. Four. Okay. Each time, add in one more. So this time, we'll do two. Okay? Next time, we'll do three. And then we'll start over again. Okay? One. Two. One. Two. Squat. Squat. Overhead. Overhead. This time we'll do three. You can rest in between if you like. Okay, three. One. Two. Go down and touch the floor each time. Three. To your chest. One. Two. Three. Squat three. One. Two. Three, over here, three, one, two, three, okay, all right, let's do some walking in place. So, as I said, it's not a race, take your time, work at your pace. 
make sure exercise is up, put on you some music, whatever you need to do, and then have you some water available. I have my water in the other room. Okay. I'm going to start doing more four exercises for my foot bar. Run. You can alternate back and forth. Say run for 30 seconds or so. Walk for one or two minutes. Run for 30 seconds. Alternate back and forth and make it into like a hit exercise. H-I-I-T. For me anyway. <laughs> okay. Side to side. Now as you're shaping up, everybody shapes up differently. As I lose weight, I usually lose weight from the back. Everything just kind of comes to the front and kind of flows downward. Thus the fupa. And also, so I have to, I work a lot in here and I try to work my core a lot. I do actually do more core um, exercises when I'm in the gym, so. That's why I want to get back in the gym because I have a variety of machines that I can use. And that really helps to tone up my core really good and a lot faster. But you can see the results that I'm having. Hope that you're having some good results. As far as inches, all of those nails, non-scale victories count also. Can we go ahead and do lifting a little bit of weight before I stop for this morning and I'll come back and I'll do this several times through the day to equal up to 30 minutes or to close to an hour. Put your, uh, your arms close to your side and just raise up slowly and down. And do that 10 times, two, three, Four, five, six, seven. And I'm standing with my legs just spread a little bit apart, which makes it easier for you when you have a wider base as far as your stance. I believe that's 10, 10 or 11. Okay. The next one that I'm going to do is going to go ahead and do my back. And these are 10, so this is 15 pounds here. I believe 5, 10, and then pull. Okay, let's go. 1, 2, 3. I'm going to do 20 of these, 11, 12, 10, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay. Go ahead and do a little bit of stretching, and then that's going to be part of my cool down. Like I said, you can split your exercise up into increments, whichever is easier for you, but just make sure that you add some exercise into your day. You're going to have great benefits. Your body's going to start getting a little bit more toner. You're going to feel better. Exercise is really worth adding into your daily routine. Okay, let me just stretch my head to the side here. And stretching feels good. Stretching my neck out. Okay, I didn't exercise with any music today, but I'm going to put a little bit in the background. You can put your music on. You can dim your lights if you want to. If you want to exercise the candlelight, you can do that too. But just add in some exercise to your routine.
Okay, next thing for me is taking my probiotic, my her own. I take two of these in the morning, and these are made from apple cider vinegar. So I'm going to take two of these. And the rest of my supplements, I don't take those until when I get ready to eat. Probiotics are best taken on empty stomach. At least these are. Mm. Mm -hmm. Number two. So, let's talk about how to be more successful on your weight loss journey this week or your health journey. Um, a few tips that can help you be successful or to be more successful this week. First of all, if something isn't working for you, go ahead and change it. Tweak it. Um, add in different foods. Take different foods out. Use the process of elimination to find out what you need to do. But if it's something that you have been doing for a long time and it's not working, then it does mean that it's time to change that. You want to set realistic goals, number one. Don't try to change your entire diet overnight. If you, instead, what you want to do, you want to set some small achievable goals that you can um advance forward with every day in order to get to that one main goal. So you want to set small achievable goals along the way so that you can see some rewards. Make sure that you're planning your meals. If you can, plan your meal for a week or for three days or five days, whichever works best for you. Go ahead and make a meal prep if that's what you need to do. Or cook some meat. Have your protein already made in, in the refrigerator. Cook up a batch of vegetables and put those in there. But make sure that they are meats and vegetables that you like. So that way you will eat them. If you plan your meals, this is going to help you stay on track. And it's going to help you avoid eating impulsively. Number three, make healthy food choices. You want to make sure that you're making healthy food choices. You want to choose whole nutrient foods, nutrient-dense foods um, like vegetables, um, some fruits, certain fruits because I eat keto, so I don't eat all fruits, but some fruits, some uh, good protein, lean protein, some fatty protein, whichever version of keto that you are doing. Um, you can have some processed foods occasionally, but processed foods you really want to avoid which I know that's impossible to do all the time, but boxed food items, and especially those that say keto, most of the time these aren't keto, so it's best to stay away from processed foods. Now, time to time I do eat occasionally like the processed meats like salami, um, pepperonis, and occasionally, because I love hot links too, but you can use those things occasionally. Just don't make it an everyday part of your eating plan. Number four, make sure that you're drinking plenty of water. You want to make sure that you're staying hydrated. And drinking water is going to help you feel full. Um, it's going to help cleanse your body of impurities also. And it's also going to help you avoid overeating because it's going to make you feel full. Before you start your meal, drink a glass of water or drink some water um, and then eat. I believe this will help you feel more fuller um, as you progress through your meal. You want to aim for at least eight glasses of water per day. At least eight glasses of water per day. Number five, and one of the most important things, is getting enough sleep. This is something that I have problems with. And like I said, I'm working on what I call a sleep plan. If this is something that you have to do, develop yourself a sleep plan, a sleep plan in order to sleep more peacefully or in order to sleep longer, whatever the problem is. And if your sleep is being disrupted a lot, you know, talk to your doctor. Um, they can give you a lot of tips and also um, things that can help you with your sleep. And I'm not necessarily talking about drugs because I talked to my doctor about my sleep problem and we talked about tips to help me sleep better. So 
you can talk to your daughter, doctor and, and get some good information that can help you also. Also, aim for seven to eight hours of sleep nightly, at least seven to eight. Okay, so I hope I've given you some good tips um, that can help you <laughs> and uh, do really good this week as far as your weight loss journey. But the most important thing, this is exercise. Make sure that you're exercising. Make sure that you're exercising every day at least 30 minutes, at least 30 minutes daily. You want to aim for at least 150 minutes weekly of exercise, but more the merrier. Okay, this is Keto Granny saying have a great day. And go ahead and listen to the rest of the video. All right. Oh, if this is your first time here, make sure that you hit that subscribe button, like, share, and comment. I have lost over 100 pounds, uh, and I like to share my weight loss journey. I like to talk about tips that have helped me. And if you have any tips that you'd like to share with us, please put them in the video below. Again, have a great day and stay blessed. Mm -hmm.